Hi everyone, my name is Maya and this is my makeup, beauty and lifestyle channel. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone is good. So I'm so excited because we've moved from level four to level three lockdown, which means first thing, beaches are open, best thing in the world, and it's a new year. January is finally over. So in today's video, as you can see by the title, we are doing the power of makeup, which I am super excited about because I've been wanting to do this video for a really long time. It means a lot to me. I'm pretty sure it means a lot to everyone else or lots of other people that are interested in makeup. So yeah, without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so for this video, I'm gonna be doing half of my face. So this side of my face, full glam, and the other half, literally nothing. So starting off, I'm gonna be doing my eyebrows first. So I'm just gonna brush up my eyebrows with some clear soap. Also, by the way, if you wanna check out a more in-depth video on the brow soaping process, I'll leave the link in the description box and it's called Makeup Do's and Don'ts. So I'm just filling in my eyebrows with some brow pomade. And another tip with this, if you're, especially if you're using a brow pomade or pomade, um, you want to use a very small amount so that you can sort of really go through your entire eyebrow with it so it's not um, so cakey and it doesn't really build up that much. Okay, so I finished doing my eyebrows and I'm gonna clean up underneath my eyebrow to create a sharp line uh, and then I'll be moving on to doing my eyes. Okay, so I've just finished cutting. Okay, so I've just finished cleaning up under the brow and I just use a bit of concealer and then I drag that out down onto my eyelid to prime my eyelids for the eyeshadow. Moving on to the eyes, which are the main part in this video because when you use eyeshadow or you use anything on your eyes, it just changes your face completely. For me, as I said, this is a very sort of important video because it's the start of my career, or the reason why I love makeup is the sort of start of my career. Um, so I don't know if I've actually told you guys the story, but the reason why I got into makeup is because one day I was on the set of the Dark Tower movie with Idris Elba and Matthew McConaughey. Matthew McConaughey? Can't McConaughey, that one. <laughs> and um, I actually peeped my head uh, inside the makeup tent. I didn't want to be very intrusive, so I just peeped my head inside and I was like, hello and I was uh, looking around and all the stuff and it was very interesting and this guy jumped out of the tent covered in moss with like blue paint all over himself and devil sort of sharpened teeth and he just basically looked like an alien crossed with an like an ancient troll being it was really really cool and he jumped out and he screamed in my face he was like ah and I was like oh my god and I got a fright and I laughed and I was like, you know what? From that moment on, that is what I wanna turn people into. That is what I wanna do. Cause makeup is, it's such a creative way to express yourself and being a creative person, there are so many different things you can do with it and it just, it can change you completely, either internally or externally as well. Like you can feel completely different when you've applied makeup. So for me, that is just one of the main reasons why I love it so much. But let me know in the comments below what your reason is. Very nice. That's right. Okay, so I think I'm gonna go for a sort of green and purple look. I'm loving green and purple together at the moment. They're just the nicest combination. So I'm gonna start off with a black and like define the outer area and then go in with a green to blend that out. Okay, so as you can see, I've created a black sort of defined outline. That is where the darkest part of the eyeshadow is gonna be. So first you wanna, if you're doing a very dramatic look like this, you wanna apply a dark color first and then blend it out with lighter colors sort of gradually going up to form like a gradient. So now I'm gonna be taking a really dark green color and applying that sort of right above where that black line meets like my skin color and then also on the outer part here, because the inner part of my eye, I'm gonna do purple, and then the outer part's gonna be green. I love doing dramatic eye looks like this, because once you've got it on, and then you can see what it used to look like with it not on, it just makes a huge difference. And it's so nice to see like how different your face can look. 
Okay, so I've now applied that color. So after that, I'm now gonna be taking a little bit of the same color on a fluffy sort of flat blending brush and I'm gonna be blending that upwards. But you don't wanna take too much extra product up on the brush because there's gonna be a lot of product on your eyelid already that you can just blend. Building on this, I'm now going to be taking a lighter green and blending that just where the dark green colour meets my skin colour and then also blending that upwards. And this is more of a brighter green and it's a very intense colour so you want to be really careful about where you place it. Okay, for the last part of the blending of the green shadows, I'm going to be taking a sort of lemony toned yellow shadow and applying that right to the outer edge and then right down here as well and that's going to really intensify the green uh like the light green color uh. now i'm going to be taking a dark purple shade and building up the inner corner of my eye the inner portion of my eye thank god i didn't take bio that would have been terrible. I don't know what anything is in my body. And I'm just taking this right on the outer edge, again, where the black meets my skin. Because if you apply it too high, you're gonna have to be blending it into your eyebrow. Which is fine, if you wanna do that, go ahead. But I'm not gonna be doing that today. And I'm really gonna be packing on that color because I want it to be really intense. And now I'm taking the same colour but on a fluffy blending brush and blending that upwards. Next I'm taking a sort of more purpley pink toned purple uh, on a round fluffy blending brush and applying that just above where I applied the purple. Or where I blended out the purple. And this is also just going to warm up the purple as well because it's a very cool toned purple. And the green is also very cool toned. Okay, I've now finished doing my eyeshadow, so I'm gonna move on to cutting the crease. And I'm just gonna clean up, um, sort of make like a very clear line where I wanna add the concealer, so to cut the crease. And I'm just using a bit of micellar water on an earbud to do this. And this really helps to get a clean line and to sort of really define where you wanna go. Okay, so as you can see, I have cleaned up the line. So now I've got a clear sort of indication of where I wanna go or where I wanna create the cut crease. And now I'm just taking some concealer and defining that line and lightening the area. So that's gonna prime the eyelids for whatever we put on on top now. There is a snake in my boot. I'm gonna be moving on to creating a shape inside the cut crease and I'm gonna be taking a dark green shade first. Now I'm gonna be creating the same shape as I did here with the green, but I'm gonna be using purple. And I'm gonna take quite a dark purple shade. Time to jazz it up. I'm gonna be applying the shimmers. Okay, so I've just gone ahead and done my skin. So I've just done foundation, concealer, and now I'm gonna go ahead and do contour and bronzer. And then I'll also be applying some highlighter and then a little bit of lighter concealer underneath my eye. Also, by the way, my gorgeous earrings are made by my god sister and they are hand painted and handmade as well. So I'll leave the link in the description box for you to go on over and check out the work that she's done and maybe get yourself a pair because she does do them um, by commission. So you can ask her whatever you want to make and then she'll make it for you. And she also did that behind me, which is a A to Z of Cape Town cool kid cliches and I think it says from the perspective of someone only moderately cool and only moderately Cape Tonian which is 
so cool. I just, I love the illustration. I think it's very clever. So let me know if you guys want one and I'll contact her for you because I think it's really, really cool. So I'm just gonna take some cold, cold powder for my face. Okay, so bronzing done, and now I'm gonna be taking a cool tone contour shade and contouring my face. And this step also really makes your face look completely different. You can change your entire face shape just by contouring and highlighting. Another reason why I think makeup is so cool. And I'm just gonna blend that upwards because you want it to sort of lift your face instead of make your face drop. And then just a little bit on the tip of my nose. I was actually blessed with an okay shaped nose, so I don't really have to do too much work. But it evens everything out if you do. And now I'm just gonna take a little bit of a sort of pink neutral toned blush and just applying that to sort of slightly higher than the apples of my cheeks. Next up, I'm gonna be taking some setting spray and then applying my highlighter. And this will just help to lock in any more moisture because when you add the powder, your, t your skin tends to be a little bit dry. So if you add a setting spray, it just locks in the moisture and then the highlighter really shines and pops on top of it. There's my highlighter. And then applying this to all of the high points of your face and any point that you want to highlight. Uh, highlight, of course. And again, another step that really makes a huge difference to how you look. Even if I don't apply contour and I just do bronzer, then I will always do highlighter, especially on my nose. It's really difficult to only do one side of your face because you want to sort of use your brush the way you usually use it, but you can't, you have to be more sort of tactical. Okay, so eyelashes are now on. I'm going to be moving on to my lips and starting off, I'm going to use a nude lip liner. And I'm just going to apply that to the outer part of my lip and then fill it in. Okay, and now I'm going to take quite a dark brown uh, eyeliner and go around the uh, lip line of my lips. And go around the outline of my lips, I mean. And then I'm just going to pat it down and this is going to create like an ombre effect. And lastly, I'm just gonna be taking a nude shimmery colored gloss and applying that over the top. Okay guys, so that is the finished look. I really hope you enjoyed it. So as you can see, there's a clear difference between the two different sides of my face. So you can see that this side is a little bit more structured and this side is obviously very natural as I don't have anything on but the eyes just look so much more exaggerated and the features of my face also stand out a little bit more. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions or if you like this video. Please like and subscribe if you wanna see any more of my videos. Apart from that, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.